Now, I used to play Call of Duty when I was younger, haven't played since, and apparently there's a new trailer for it. Wow, what, what could it be? I can't, I can't, no. Uh, now, it's interesting because when you go on Twitter, like, there's a couple of individuals that religiously defend garbage. Like, they're the garbage people. They enjoy surrounding themselves with garbage, and if you're not part of their clique and you're looking at something and it's like, I don't want garbage, I'm not going to buy garbage, and they're like, how dare you, sir? How dare you? Like, my favorite take was, uh, I, I was working with this chucklehead, and they were like, oh, so, like, spontaneous hu uh, humor isn't allowed? And I'm like, no. No. This is Call of Duty. It's it's an IP that has its own spirit, and it's got its own lore, and it's got its own theme. Do they not matter anymore? And the answer is no, right? Like, this is uh, modernity, I guess. Like, this is the progressive way of doing video games, where we have creative bankruptcy. Like, we can't create a new IP. We gotta copy other shit, right? So, th this was done in a boardroom. I gotta teach you. Like, this was not done by some passionate people that had the vision, and they wanted to create something amazing. No, th this was not in the boardroom. It was like, okay, what are people playing now? Um, Fortnite. Okay, what is Fortnite? Is this. Okay, well, what what in Fortnite is popular? All right, well, well, let's put it into our IP. No, 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 don't create something new. No, just, just clone Fortnite and put it into our IP. Now, the problem is, like, the people who actually do like the IP... They can't have it anymore, right? Like, if you, if you actually like the thing, well, the thing is now transforming. Uh, and, and they will say, well, it's good because it's transforming. No, like, cancer is also transforming. No, it's not good. No, but, like, the, the, in my opinion, and, and this is not with um, Call of Duty, but, like, you notice most of AAA games are starting to look literally the same? Like, literally, it's like copy-paste. Everything is inspiring off of each other. And this is not the same for Japan. This is not the same for China or Korea. Like, like you have gacha games. You have a fucking gacha game. And they're different from one another. They have different mechanics. They have different things, different themes. But, like, when you look into the West, everyone is trying to be the next Borderlands. Like, like I have seen Borderlands done so many fucking times now. It's, it's just like... Okay, so, so not only does the Borderlands have, like, three different sequels, but, like, it's toilet humor can now be also found in this. And then there was, like, Rage 2. Uh, like, the only thing is they see something that works and they just try to copy it without thinking about what it's making it good or anything like that. Um, and it's everywhere. Fucking everywhere. And, and when you try to criticize it, you get people going like, oh, so, so what's wrong? You know, like, the thing they do is they deconstruct it to its bare minimum and it's like, okay, so what upsets you? Oh, the humor? It's like, why, you can't have humor in a game? You know, like, it's not the humor, it's the overall thing. It's like, you got a company that's a triple-A fucking multi-billion dollar corporation, and yet it's incapable of creating. Like, do you not see a problem with this? Why are you supporting this? Like, allow those people who are incapable to get fired, because they got placed in that position due to racial nepotism, through diversity and inclusivity and equity. It's like, okay, can, can we allow merit to come back in? Like, I, I don't care how diverse they are or non-diverse, I... I that, doesn't matter. Let them create something. Even if it's racist, just fucking create something at this point. Like, anything. Anything. Just create. No, they can't. They stagnate. Honest to God, when you read Warhammer 40k, it doesn't make sense. It's like, how can the Imperium stagnate? It's like, well, it's the far future. Like, and they have access to so amazing, so much amazing technology. How are they stagnating? Well, apparently the answer is this. Like, yeah, like th this is the answer. Like putting incompetent people in positions of influence and they then tank down the company. Like Boeing. Uh, no, but seriously though, right? Like, look at it, look. Again, I, I am willing to bet, like, I would put money on this, that someone at a board meeting thought, all right, well, well, who plays our game? Black people. All right, well, let's put this in, because, like, what do black people like? All right, let's put this in. It's the same shit with Yasuke. It's like, what do black people like? Hip-hop music. All right, well, let's put hip-hop music on a Japanese theme song. That is the extent of their knowledge, and they get paid tens of thousands of dollars for this.
It's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, they had trans bullets, didn't they? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, during Pride Month, they came out, and they literally had, like, bullets painted with the trans flag, and everyone on the internet is like, what does Activision mean by this? Like, what, what exactly are they suggest? Like, again, who thought it's a good idea? And the thing is, when the idea flops, that person, I guarantee to you, does not get fired. Like, being shit at your job is not enough to get you fired. Now, if you vote for Donald Trump, they'll probably fire if you say something racist seven years ago on Twitter, they will probably fire. If you watch Asmongold, they will probably fire an ass, right? But but if you just happen to, to be shit at your job, oh, uh, they can overlook that. That's fine. You know. And this is not even cool. Like, this is what outrages me. The, the reason that I'm outraged, by the way, is that I want a good game. Like, I genuinely have money to spend and I want to purchase some entertainment. But they keep coming up with this shit. And I'm sorry, like, but this is garbage. It's not entertaining me. And, and you're thinking, you know, like, after several years pass and several games are released, it's like, okay, but, like, law of average would be, like, at least one would be good. And, you know, every now and then, yeah, you get an Elden Ring, you get something that's good. But then you get this genetic garbage. Like, seriously, dude, even when I was a kid, like, even, even when I was 16, I wouldn't have liked this. Is this, is this what kids nowadays like? Because that's a possibility, I guess, I like, should be accounting for the generation gap. But I honestly doubt that kids like this. And if they do, it's because this is the only thing that they can be exposed to. Like, there's no other good games out there. Honestly, I'm going to make sure that my son gets a laptop, no internet connection, and I'm just going to feed him all DOS games. And after he finishes those, I'll just start going through the ages. I'll be like, alright, well, you finished the games from 97, okay? You finished King Quest? Alright, well, we're going to go and see what released in 98 and give you those games to play. And when you finish those, 99, so on and so forth, until he reaches 2016. And after that, I will tell him, no, no they stopped making games after that. No, it's just... Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, son. It's just like the industry, like they stop producing. Oh, goodness gracious. And this is Call of Duty, right? Like what's wrong with the military shooter? Well, I'll tell you what's wrong with the military shooter. Like you need a villain. Who are you going to make as a villain? Are you going to make a Muslim nation? No, that's offensive. You know, are you, are you going to make it? Oh, the enemy is within. They did that for a while. You know, the actual enemy is actually the Americans. Dun, dun, dun. And, and, and they did that for, for quite a while. And now they're, they're doing this shit. Because, like, you can't write a proper story without offending some leftists. Because it's, like, it's like, like you're not writing a story to offend people. No, it doesn't matter. Like, you can offend right-wingers all you want. Just, like, don't offend the crazies on Twitter because that's a problem. Anyway, right. Let me know what you guys think. And as usual, I'll see you in the comment section. Take care.